trouble is I haven't got a torch on, so you won't really be able to see very much. But um, yeah, we haven't surveyed the space, haven't recorded any of the graffiti yet, um, or recorded it. So what I didn't want to do is there's always a lot of interest when you do this kind of stuff. So we didn't want anyone going to go in and graffiti it or whatever. So no, absolutely. We measured the door up about six months ago when we did an exploratory trench. And I'm also pleased to say that the door fitted. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so um, it goes around the corner. Each each tunnel is at a slightly different angle. This is because because blast, you know, travels in uh, in a straight line. So you you put things in to stop a a blast setting off a bigger oh, chain wow. reaction. And did you clean the bricks up, or were they like that? What's that inside? Yeah, they they look like really kind of new. No, no, no. I mean, all of this was there was a hole here, right? And we put a hatch cover on to um, protect the site. Um, and this was all sort of yeah spoiled down. To oh, okay. Kind of here. Um, there's no artifacts left in there, though. So right in the right at the far end there was some interesting artifacts in one of the shafts there so there was like a, a winch that you use to drop your shells down this this shaft uh, some of the rungs for climbing up and down the emergency shaft uh, and one of the ventilators that I was saying to you about this kind of quite Cause this will hook up with tunnels that take you down to sea level or this just no no no, no. this is just one um, every single gun battery has its own deep shelter has its own plotting room and every single one of the guns has its own magazine so there are holes all over Dover and because of that there's this whole mythology that's grown up there are tunnels all sorts of Dover but uh, yeah very rarely do they kind of 